Melissa Licona Southern. And this morning I'm gonna make my grandmother, who we all call Mema, her albondigas in her original pot. This is the pot she used to make them. And when my only aunt, sister of my daddy, passed away, my cousin Bonnie brought that over and said, you need to have this. So I am making the albondigas in Mema's pot with my best spoon that I've had since I was married 52 years ago, with my peltre, which is part of my childhood, in Casas Grandes, and a beloved niece, Erika, gave me this for Christmas. So the thing about albondigas is it's very personal because everybody says that's not how I make them, which is true. I don't measure anything. Everything is al tanteo, which means like a little pinch of this, and al gusto, however you like it. If you're salty, a lot of salt. If you don't like cilantro, you don't put it. I don't like cominos, except in albondigas, and so I use cominos. So what I've done first is the very Mexican recaudo, which is the tomato, garlic, and onion. And this is a classic Mexican traditional combination for almost any Mexican dish. So you just lightly saute it a little bit. I add a little bit of salt, again, al tanteo, porque soy salada, a little bit salty. And in a bit, I will put it in the blender and I will add this rosa blanca, which is a little bit of a cheap thing. My daddy said, no pongas polvitos en nada, but I, I put polvitos. So this is rosa blanca. It's, it's got something in it. Makes everything better. So I will put this in the blender shortly. Another thing in Mexican cooking, you use this licuadora for everything. I just have a plain old blender, not a Cuisinart. I don't even know how to use those. So here's your recaudo. I'm gonna put it in the licuadora. I just put a little bit of water for the residue of the tomato. I add a little bit more cominos because remember this dish I like with cominos. So I'm going to add a little bit of water, preferably. where the albondis are going to be made. And the albondigas, by the way, are made with, here they are, she didn't like big albondigas, they had to be little. They have salt and pepper, some breadcrumbs, an egg, and a little cominos even in the meat. A lot of people put rice in the albondigas. I put it in the soup. So here we go. Taste it, however. Make sure I put enough salt or something. Poquita más sal. But it's got enough cominos. So the salted water is just beginning to boil. I pour this recaudo into the soup. go. 
I'll taste it in a minute for salt. And when it comes to a big boil, you drop the albondigas one by one. And then at the end, you put in cilantro. Again, some people like it, some people hate it. I like it enough to put it at the end. And then, that's it. But here they are, made small. Another thing my grandmother did is she would put half pork and half beef. I just use the beef. And I have a sister who puts the rice into the actual meatball. I don't believe she did, but she did put it into the, the caldo, the soup. So this is what it looks with the recaudo. That Le falta sal. So here's al gusto, a mi gusto, which is mucha sal. There you go. So let's just wait a little while to make sure this boils. And we can start plopping those in there. This pot actually on the bottom, it says made in Switzerland. I even looked it up on the internet and it wasn't worth 5000 but it was pricey. And I don't know where she got it. I'd love to know where she got this made in Switzerland pot. But it is one of my biggest treasures that I have. And I owe it to Bonnie, my cousin, who lives in Denver. I la llevo. So, I'm going to start plopping these in. And she learned to make these because her mother-in-law, who was from Zacatecas, Nicolás Zacarreño, taught her how to make them. And I just watched, just like I watched my mother make her gravy and her mashed potatoes and her dressing. She didn't use any measurement either. So she was from the country. They didn't measure. There you go. Another thing I have are these Platos de peltre, my cousin Chiqui, always gives me little items of peltre because it reminds me of my childhood. All right, I'm down to my last four. So it's got to regain the boil. And once it starts boiling, I'd say half an hour at the most. And usually we serve them with corn tortillas, not flour and with some aguacate to put on top and voila so i have those in the winter frequently we make those a lot my husband loves them my kids love them so it's a hearty comfort food kind of dish to make and we make them for certain relatives when they come they say make sure you have albondigas so now we're just going to let it simmer I don't want it to boil over, maybe a little too much soup. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. The rice. So now the rice goes in. Again, how much rice do you want? It depends. She didn't like a lot of rice because she said it mushed up. My husband likes a lot of rice. And I add some more cominos once it starts also. Take my hearty spoon from, and here we go. Sorry, but I taste all the way, and so did Julia Child, so I guess that's okay. She didn't. I think we're good on salt. I think we're good on rice. We're just going to wait for a full boil, and then that's it. I'll serve them up with aguacate and tortillas.
I just added the cilantro al gusto, meaning Elisa's gusto. So somebody else would put a whole lot more than I put, but that's about all I put in there. And there we go. Nos esperamos. Alrighty, looks like they're done. Let's take this tapadera off. I've got the corn tortilla on the comal. You can't do that in the microwave. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. So we just have the comal on where it's already good and hot. These are still boiling and they're better the next day, by the way. But we're ready, I think. I'm gonna serve some up. The rice is cooked. It looks like there's the exact amount, not too much. Nice and small, like Mema liked them. Now the aguacate goes on top. Some people put chipotle. We never put chipotle, so I'm sticking to what she did. And usually I have to get that kind of tostadita, kind of toasted, and then we're ready to go. So, buen provecho. So, let me taste. Perfectas. 